as part of the recent Back to Hogwarts celebration. Hogwarts Legacy just gave us an absolutely stunning look at all of the common rooms, and here in today's video, we're going to break down the Slytherin common room because there are so many incredible details, so many things that I missed upon first viewing, even for just a little over a one-minute clip. In fact, I got a challenge for you today. Let's see how many serpents you can find throughout the video. See if you can find more than me. I'm going to be tracking them as we go because there are a lot of serpents in the Slytherin common room. Surprise, surprise, right? There are 10 total scenes in all, and we're going to be going through them one by one, starting with this scene right here. And honestly, you don't have to get very far to start noticing some interesting things. I want to call your attention to this. I mean, the very first frame here in the bottom left corner, because this right here looks like some sort of notice board to me. Now, for those of you who played the original Harry Potter games, one of the best things about those games, and they had their highs and lows, but one of the best things about those games had to be the notice board. And if you didn't play them, basically the way it worked is on these notice boards, you could find notes left behind by other students who were missing certain items. Then as you're going around and exploring the castle, you could find those items and return them to the lost items message board for reward. Words. Personally, I think it would be awesome if they brought back something similar to this in Hogwarts Legacy. And right here at the bottom left corner, that just might be the hint we need to start speculating even more. Now, as for the room itself, there are a couple of things that jump out at me right away. We know that the Slytherin common room is down in the dungeon, so it makes sense to see all of these stone structures. Almost like they actually wanted to create the effect that you were deep underground in some sort of cave. And who knows, Hogwarts is built magically after all. Perhaps it is even within part of the actual stone of the surrounding area right here. You also have the stone columns. And of course, we spot our first snake over here on the right side of the screen, just above the fireplace. Another common theme throughout the Slytherin common room are animal skulls. You'll see a couple of them along the right side of the wall here. There's also a student here in the middle of the room that appears to be reading a spell book. And then we have a tapestry of a wizard who I admittedly have no idea who it is. Same thing for a lot of these portraits. If you guys spot anyone famous or that we should know from the books, be sure and let me know down in the comments below. You'll see the hourglass over here on the right side of the screen. Another elaborate tapestry here on the left, as well as another animal skull there. And then our first look at the staircase, which I presume leads into the boys and girls dormitories here in Slytherin House. And how could we not talk about the Slytherin statue there at the top of the staircase? We're going to get an even closer look at it here in just a second. Now, I came insanely close to missing the snake over here on the left side. Have you caught it yet? Well, look right here in this area. I am pretty sure that that is yet another snake that appears to be maybe a handle on something. That part's a little bit harder to make out, but I'm almost positive that it is indeed another serpent. Then we get an even closer look at the fireplace and mantle. Not going to count that snake again because we already counted him, but we will count the one on the right, bringing our total to three so far. And I'm not really seeing the head of a snake right here, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be at least one snake. So we'll go ahead and call it one more. And then right here, if you actually look inside the fireplace, yet another serpent icon there, bringing our total to five. Now, even though the Slytherin common room is in the dungeons, you get a nice spacious area right here with these amazing windows looking directly out into the Black Lake. Chandler Wood even made the comment about don't tap the glass, which you know has to do something now in game, right? I mean, does a mermaid pop up? Do we see the giant squid? Something has to happen when you go and tap the glass now in Hogwarts Legacy. Still plenty of stone in this room as well as the animal bones over here on the right. And then right here in the center of the room is what appears to be a mermaid. It's not really the bones of a mermaid. Is it a replica of a mermaid or is it a Fiji mermaid? That is something I had never heard of before. Someone had posted it over on the Harry Potter game subreddit and it's kind of creepy actually, which I suppose would fit well here in the Slytherin common room, but it's essentially the torso and head of a juvenile monkey sewn to the back half of a fish to give the appearance of a mermaid. So I don't know why they need to do that in Hogwarts Legacy because I mean, Mermaids are real in this world. The next one, though, by far, my favorite of the whole entire common room reveal trailer, the entrance. And guys, on every test I have ever taken for sorting in Hogwarts Legacy, for sorting in Harry Potter, I am never Slytherin. It is always the absolute lowest for me. 
And even as someone who hates snakes, this is absolutely incredible. The entrance to the Slytherin common room, amazing. I also have to make sure I point out the Hogwarts fanatic robe here, sporting Slytherin House in this case. You can get this by linking your Wizarding World account to your WB account, which will also bring over your wand and house into Hogwarts Legacy. Now, in addition to the giant stone snake that reveals the entrance to the Slytherin common room, there are some other things I love about this shot too. First, the pattern on the ground. It's almost like this is a marking. This is an indicator to Slytherins that, hey, here's your common room because it's very inconspicuous, right? Other students may pass by this area and have no idea that that is the entrance to the common room right there. And the pattern here at the bottom looks a little bit like the Merlin puzzles that we saw. I'm not going to say exactly, but a little bit. And it would certainly fit because Merlin was, in fact, a Slytherin in the world of Harry Potter. Oh, and I think it's time to update our serpent count again because it looks like we have one, two, three here on the right and one, two, three here on the left as well. That is six in this shot alone, which brings our total to 11. Also have the suit of armor over there on the right. Wonder if they're gonna come alive at any point in Hogwarts Legacy. And then we gotta watch it just one more time. Look at the animation on this. I mean, I love it, you guys. So eerie, but just so fitting for House Slytherin. And then let's talk about this door right here because we have even more snakes. I know, surprise, right? Well, we gotta count the big snakes, so that's one more. Then we have two here, three here, four here, five here. Is that it? Not so fast. Look at the top here. Six and seven, which brings our total to 18 snakes at this point. In the next scene, we get another shot of the spacious interior, once again showing off the Black Lake. And are those telescopes I see looking out into the water? As the scene shifts, we get a closer look right here, and it does indeed look to be some sort of telescope. All right, this right here, they are clearly wanting us to see the wizard's chest set that is sitting right here on the table, just begging to be played. Now we don't get any sort of interact prompt that shows up, but man, this sure seems like a big hint. Fingers crossed that Wizard's Chess will be a playable minigame in Hogwarts Legacy. Also on the table, we have some books as well as an ink bottle and a quill. And just before it cuts away to another scene, take a look at the table over here. Looks like there are three artifacts here. The one in the middle almost looks like some sort of Viking horn. And the one on the right looks as if it could be a tiny owl, yet it doesn't appear to be moving. What do you guys think? Any guesses on this here? And then just before the scene cuts away, over on the right, we can see a very large harp. Perhaps this is the very same harp that would one day be used to calm Fluffy to sleep as Professor Quirrell slash Voldemort made his way toward the Sorcerer's Stone. Eh, Philosopher's Stone. Whatever. In the next scene, we're back in a familiar room once again. Take note of the cabinet here where you have even more artifacts. The one that caught my attention right away is the one in the top left corner. Is it possible this is a container of Skelligro here? Right here we have a crystal ball. Perhaps this is a spare for divination class. A couple of other tribal looking artifacts. A spell book. Something that appears to be an egg. And then sitting ever so temptingly at the top of the right side of the cabinet, what appears to be an ornate lockbox of some sort. A couple of more animal skulls here on the right. Then we make the turn into a long hallway just before it transitions to one of my favorite shots of the whole trailer. This one right here at the bottom of the steps that lead off to the dormitories, complete with the Salazar Slytherin statue at the top right there in the middle. You see we have two serpents on either side of the stairs, as well as another serpent here with Salazar. If you're still counting at home, that is 21 total serpents so far. On the left side, we have a student carrying a stack of books with some other flying enchanted books behind him, more animal bones here, and then here at the top left, what appears to be a Ravenclaw crest. What do you guys think it could be doing here in the Slytherin common room? And then right before this scene transitions away, if you look on the right side, there's this shining blue dot. It's only a single one that I see. So could this be a conversation that we can interact with? Or perhaps there's some sort of secret item hidden and we're supposed to go investigate. Now, I believe this next scene right here is actually showing what it would look like for your character to exit the common room. There's a gorgeous waterfall over here on the right, more stone, as well as this animal etched in the stone right here. I think this could be a statue of a Zuwu, which is one of the creatures that was featured prominently in the Fantastic Beasts series. And then right here, I think they're just flipping it around and giving us one final look at what the entrance to the Slytherin common room would look like. And yep, I see the snake over there on the right. I believe we've already counted that one though, which is going to bring my total to 21 total serpents. Did I get them all or did you guys find even more? I guess it could actually be 22 if you count the one on the back of the robes. Of course, Slytherin is just one of the common rooms and guys they all truly do look incredible up next i'm gonna break down the gryffindor common room as soon as that video is ready it'll be on the right side of your screen now check it out as always thank you all so much for watching i'll talk to you again soon